my soul got sad news Lulu is the only one left Bruce the male dog died it was sudden she was all active in the afternoon and then all of the sudden in the evening she was all groggy and then just nothing and Lulu just recovered she was pooping uh, almost like blood and I gave her some uh, some meds and I gave her another thing that made her drink a lot of water uh, especially thanks to this dextrose powder this I think this one gave her the advantage and also thanks to my friend Gingi Buladako for giving me the suggestions SMP 500 and vitamin C I gave her just one time and now she's all okay she's all eating uh, that's uh, that's rice with the uh, chicken liver so thank God she survived uh, but sadly lost uh, Bruce uh, well for now I only have her and Brenda as my dog so well it's okay uh, very soon as soon as she recovers I uh, will take her to Davao or by the time I have a schedule going to Davao I'm gonna take her to the vet Hopefully she will fully recover in the day. I was talking about the black dog. The black dog, yes, black dog is dead. That was Bruce. Ah, okay. Only Lulu survived. Lulu survived? Yes. Why didn't I get him food? I gave her food but she was but he was sick. I didn't have a chance to to assess his sickness and he died immediately. Okay. I think he was poisoned or something. I told you don't put poison. It was poison. I didn't put poison. Who would I feed dogs poison? No, do this. No. Well, would I kill dogs? I love dogs. What about cats, huh? I don't. Uh, cats? Cats are okay, but I don't. I don't have a cat. Oh. You don't have a cat anymore? No, I never had a cat. Oh, I'm a dog have... person. I, mean, I just love cats too, but I love chickens. You love chickens? Yes. yes. I, I want a pet <laughs> That's a wild chicken. I want a pet though. Next time. Okay, so we're in the middle of the mountains. Uh, I was just thinking of going out on a trip, but a worker here, Nolito, invited me to see his place, and we went up to Karangahan. And now we just pass through uh, Rizalian community. Rizalian community is a, was once a religious group. Whew. Before, their numbers were in thousands. But now, there's only few families, last members. Actually, I was, I was just, I wanted to come here to see if there's a land for sale. Because I'm pretty sure it would be really cheap. But, okay. It's, it's on top of the mountain. The air is thin. And I'm gasping for air.
this is the main village of the Rizalian community. And just like, just like I said before, there were hundreds of houses here. But I don't know what happened and some of them abandoned the place. Some of them went back to the flatlands. But the place is so beautiful. A paradise. The only pro problem is coming here. This is seven kilometers from the from the main road and I kid you not, the road wasn't wasn't easy. I didn't uh I didn't take a video coming here because, you know, I was I was just thinking it would be just, what, maybe about 10 minutes of travel, but it took us half an hour. So I'll try to make us uh, some videos going back for you to see the, the harshness of the road. Yeah, Ganak anak dagani. Kesakian mu? Now that's just one of the dangerous road that we're going through. Mga, well, mga lager. Oh. Now what I like about this place is there's a lot of stream crossing the road. A lot of water. Oops, oh, 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 oh. A little landslide. And some stream again. I want you to know that this is not a planned adventure. Just some Crazy random things that went into my mind and now I think I'm in trouble. So a little stopover in this house with my friend. And for what I've noticed, they have really healthy plants. This place is really good for gardening. And he has collected some of the wild orchids. We have some crotons. Now, if I have a chance to find a land here, I will surely make it into a tropical garden. And maybe some vegetables. I mean, the land here is really fertile. So, this is tree farming looks like here in the Philippines. This wood is palkata, mainly used for paper. And this will be harvest. They harvest palkatas after about 10 years, 12 years, sometimes 20. Depends on the on the demand. If demand goes high, then they will cut it. They will cut the palkata even if it's uh, premature. Oh. Plenty of them lying around. 
and a lot of them are rejects. So it just go to waste. So this is the concrete road, and that's a big landslide. I could have taken the pickup here, but I don't think Mama will allow it. So just wanna go home now. I'm really tired of this trip. day to end this video such a nice day walking with my kid she loves destroying sticks and also I really love collecting the uh, driftwoods so yeah thank you for watching again Oh, we have video. We'll have more videos later. Thank you for watching again. And wait, 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 wait. What? We got, I just want to swim there again. But this was fine. Yeah. It was fun. Uh, not now. We cannot, we cannot swim now. So let me end this video. So again, thank no, you for no, watching. We're not going to end the video. We're not going to end the video. We're not going to end the video. We have to. So now finally, uh, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, and ho hopefully next time I will uh, I will have a speed up more job of my house. For now, it's just the floor, and sooner will be will be the wall. The floor must go first. Because uh, it's uh, it's much easier, and there will be the access of the walls won't be hindered if I put on the floor first. So thank you so much for watching.